So here we can see the, uh, the posterior arm, and here we have our shoulder down to our fingers. And we're going to just work our way from uh, proximal to distal. And the first muscle we're going to look at is the deltoid muscle here, the shoulder cap muscle. And again, we're seeing it from the back. We saw it earlier from the front, so it actually covers the entire shoulder. And I'm going to leave the deltoid in place and then to show these muscles, and then I'll take it off and re-show these muscles. So here you can see just a little bit of the spine of the scapula. And you'll remember that there were two fossa of the scapula, the supraspinatus or the supraspinous fossa and the infraspinous fossa. And those give rise to the names of these muscles. Here you can see the supraspinatus muscle above the spine. Supra is above. So supraspinous, supraspinatus muscle. And then below the spine you have the infraspinatus, which you can see here. And then the other muscles of the shoulder you can see still under the deltoid is the teres minor and then the teres major muscle. So supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, teres major. And then I'm just going to remove the deltoid muscle such that we can see this a little bit better. And again, here you can see the spine of the scapula here. And then we have our supraspinatus, our infraspinatus, our teres minor, and then teres major. And then as we look at the back of the arm, so here we have the upper arm, we have our triceps, the triceps brachii. All right, triceps tell me is there's three parts. You can see one part here, a second part, and then a little bit of the third part here. So that's where it gets its name. Tri means three, seps means head. So there's three heads to this. So the triceps brachii here. And then we're going to keep working our way distally. Just to orient ourselves, you can see the thumb here. So this is the lateral part. And then the medial part, if we remember the anatomical position. Here's our thumb and our pinky. So here we are going to have the, the radius bone and the ulna bone because our muscles are going to be named for that. So our muscles, we're just going to work our way laterally to medially, so from thumb to pinky side. And here we have the brachioradialis. We saw that from the anterior view as well. So here's the brachioradialis going from the brachium, from the humerus, down towards the radial side. So the brachioradialis. Here we have a muscle. There's two parts of this muscle. We're going to call them longus and brevis, long and short. The more superficial muscle, this is the extensor carpi radialis, longus, and the extensor carpi radialis brevis. And these muscles are called extensor muscles. They're in the posterior part, the back of the, of the arm. And when they contract, they extend your fingers. So they, the anti fist so extending your palm like this. So here again, you have the extensor carpi radialis because it's on the radial side, the thumb side. Longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis. Coming down more or less the midline of the back of the arm, the posterior view of the arm, we have the extensor digitorum. So it's going to help extend all of your digits, the extensor digitorum. And then a relatively small muscle that has a dedicated tendon to the pinky, to the smallest of your digits, is this small muscle right here. And this is called the extensor digiti minimi. So here we have the extensor digitorum. And then slightly deep to that and just a little bit more medial is called the extensor digiti minimi. And then the last of our muscles of the, of the posterior forearm is this muscle here, and this is the extensor carpi ulnaris, so named again because it roll, runs along the ulna, the medial part of the back of the arm. So just to look at all of those again from lateral to medial, you have the brachioradialis, the extensor carpi radialis long, uh, longus, and the extensor carpi radialis brevis. You have the extensor digitorum, the extensor digiti minimi, and then the extensor carpi ulnaris muscle.